Oh. I'd like to open the meeting for the special meeting for local agency formation commission for Wednesday, April 18th, 2018. Roll call. Katie Martin. Here. Joshua Cosgrove. Present. Mike O'Neill. Here. Seppi Richardson. Present. Don Horsley. Here. Harvey Rohrbeck. Here. Rebecca Archer. Here. Warren Slocum. Here. Okay, next item. Is there any public comments for items not on the agenda? I have no cards and I see no one, so we'll close that part of it. Next item three is consideration of adoption of the proposed budget for fiscal year 1819. Um, good afternoon, commissioners. As you're aware, um, your executive director, Martha Poyatos, had to attend to um, a medical situation with her family, so she asked me to go over her presentation and um, try to answer any questions you may have, but we may have to reserve some questions for Martha if, if necessary. She provided me with her summary, um, and uh, you, you have received the executive offers report dated April 10th, 2018, that recommends adoption of the proposed 1819 appropriations budget of $509,442. It is recommended that at today's meeting, you receive public comment and adopt the proposed budget with any desired amendments and direct the executive officer to one, schedule consideration of the final budget for public hearing at the May 16th commission meeting, and two, distribute it to the county, cities, and independent special districts. Section 56381, covering adoption of the LAFCO budget, requires the commission consideration of both a proposed and final budget at two separate meetings, with the final budget deadline of June 15th. In addition, following the closing of the fiscal year, the commission considers the budget amendments based on the actual year-end fund balance carryover. The Budget Committee, with a Commissioner Cosgrove absent, considered the recommendation to appropriate funds for this purpose and supported the recommendation. While Commissioner Cosgrove was unable to attend the meeting, he indicated that he had reviewed the budget and that and supported it as drafted. So let's turn to the estimated actual 2017-18 budget. The 2017-18 adopted budget includes appropriations for an executive officer position, commission meetings, county council, general operating expenditures, including rent, supplies, travel, meetings, et cetera, a partial year of the halftime executive secretary position and a partial year of the management analyst position as approved by the commission. In approving the 1718 adopted budget, the commission authorized a full-time management analyst position, which was replacing the halftime executive secretary position um, that was anticipated to be filled during the fiscal year. Funds for this new position were set aside in reserve, along with the anticipated unused portion of the executive secretary's salary and benefits. This position has not yet been filled, resulting in salary savings. In addition, there will be additional salary savings because the commission's executive secretary, Jean Brooke, has given notice, and her last day was April 13th. LAFCO will receive uh, staff support from the commission meetings from San Mateo County Planning and Building, we have Janeth here, um, or other departments. On the revenue side, uh, funds include a fund balance carryover, application fees, um, which are estimated to come in 7,000 under the projected amount, and intergovernmental revenue from the county, cities, and independent special districts. The proposed 1819 budget, salary and benefits, Salary and benefits of 401331 reflect the executive officer position, full-time management analyst, and commissioner stipend. It is anticipated that the management analyst position will be filled at the beginning of the fiscal year. Administrative support for LAFCO meetings will be provided by planning and building department or another county department. Estimates for the service are not yet available and will need to be included under services and supplies in the final budget, which will be considered at the May 16th meeting. So services and supplies. The commission's contract with the County of San Mateo includes staffing, office space, and related services, with the exception of the controller administrative fees, which is account 5872. Expenditures reflect service charges provided by county departments. An adjustment may be made to this account prior to the May meeting. As noted above, or noted earlier, <laughs> charges will also be adjusted for meeting support for the planning and building department. 
Um, and the budget narrative, uh, which I believe you have, provides details on the individual budget accounts. Revenues and application of the fund balance. Uh, revenues include application fees, fund balance carryover, and revenue from apportionment of the net budget in, in thirds to the county, cities, and independent special districts. The Commission's practice regarding fund balance has been to appropriate all or a portion of the fund balance for consulting and or a special reserve and use a portion to offset net operating, net operating budget, thereby reducing to the extent possible the funding obligation of the county, cities, and independent special districts. In preparing the annual budget, staff has been mindful of balancing the fiscal impact of the LAFCO budget on funding entities with the Commission's purpose to carry out mandated processing of applications and preparation of municipal service reviews and sphere studies. So the recommendation from your executive director is to open the public hearing and accept public comment, consider and approve the resolution um, to the proposed budget of 509442 and then to direct the executive officer to schedule the final 2018-19 budget for a public hearing at the May 16th, 2018 commission meeting and circulate it with any necessary amendments to the county, cities, and independent special districts. Okay, are you all done? I am all done. Thank you. Is there any public, um, any comments from the commission? Make a motion to close public. Oh, Sorry. okay. That's right. We do it different here. First, we have to open the public yeah. hearing. Yeah. I thought that's. So, just make a uh, real quick comment is that we did approve the uh, addition of a management analyst. And I know um, just to, you know, the, our, our thought was that, um, you know, we end up oftentimes with uh, special studies. We have um, these, obviously, these service reviews that oftentimes take a. Uh, consultant and uh, oftentimes I've heard uh, commissioners talk about why can't we do this with our own staff and well we can't because we simply don't have the additional staff and so that's why we added the uh, management analyst and the other is that you know, we're also thinking about um, succession planning at the same time that uh, while we all love Martha and hope she will stay forever the fact is that she probably is, uh, you know, looking at uh, the twilight of her career in the next two to three, maybe even four years, if we're lucky. But in any case, I just wanted to you know, just add something about why we've decided to add a management analyst to that position. Unless there's any other questions, I would move to open the public hearing. I second the motion, sir. Hey, is there anybody, members of the public, that wish to make comments on our budget? Should we vote on opening the public hearing? Oh, okay. Yeah. Vote, please. Uh, hi. Hi. Okay. I pass. Any nays? No? Okay. Is there any members of the public that wish to comment on the budget for LAFCO? Seeing none, I close the public hearing. I'll make a motion. Go ahead. Seppi, go ahead. Oh, make a motion. I make a motion to close the public motion. Second. Vote. Aye. 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 Nays, none. That motion passes. And in motion to regarding the budget, pass the budget. I have a question. Oh. Can we do one motion for all the three uh, items? I believe we can. I, I think you should do a separate motion for the resolution um, on the uh, for the proposed budget, and then um, a, another one to direct the executive officers, just so that it's clear, because we do need a roll call vote for the resolution. Go ahead. I make a motion to approve the budget as presented. Is there a second? Second. Okay, vote. Aye. 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 Roll call. Yeah. I think we need a roll call, Janice. It's money. Okay. Katie Martin? Aye. Joshua Cosgrove? Yes. Mike O'Neill? Yes. Seppi Richardson? Aye. Supervisor Horsley? Aye. Harvey Rarbeck? Yes. Rebecca Archer? No, you don't do it, right? No. Supervisor Slocum? Yes. <laughs> okay, that motion. Any nays? That motion passes 7 0. Next motion. Number three. Okay. I make a motion that the commission direct the executive officer to schedule the final 2018 19 budget for a public hearing 
at the May 16, 2018 commission meeting and circulated with any necessary amendments to the county, cities, and independent special districts. Second. Second. Okay. Uh, roll call vote, please. Katie Martin. Aye. Joshua Cosgrove. Yes. Mike O'Neill. Yes. Seppi Richardson. Yes. Supervisor Horsley. Aye. Harvey Rarbeck. Yes. Supervisor Slocum. Yes. Okay. Any nays? And that motion passes 7 0. And let's see, I think that's motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Okay. Vote yes. Aye. Aye. Okay. Meeting adjourned at 2 40. Yes.